Aroma so fragrant but free so sweet. That's love, joy and peace and kindness That's and sweet. patience The lover of your all of my life So Peter, two hours in the spirit then it's curtain We've got the next installment of The Storytime Sunday um, Guys, again, thank you so much for watching Really appreciate y'all I'm not American, I don't know why I'm saying y'all like that But I appreciate you all Thank you so much for tuning in Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, posting all of that good stuff but we're gonna go straight into the video this one we're gonna be talking about parents evening so i'm gonna speak on my experiences of parents evening i'm sure so many people can relate to this and i'm also gonna maybe touch on a little bit of my brothers and sisters but you know maybe in the future they might come on or i might get them to tell me about theirs and whatnot because i still remember a few of theirs because yo parents evening fam that was a mad one so i'd probably skip primary school so primary school for people in the UK is between 3 to 11 years old. Not much actually happened that's exciting for me to remember. But secondary school, 11 to 15, that was one of the most memorable secondary school experiences ever. So I think, what year was I in? Was I in year 10? I think I was in year 10. Or year 9 or year 10? No, no, not year 9. It was year 10. And I remember, I don't know. Is it like, no, wait, hold on. Before I even get into that, I'm talking like, you know, I want to give teachers a pass. Like you teachers, yeah, do you have a personal vendetta against some of your students? Because, for example, yeah, you guys will be teaching normal, normal, nothing will be happening. You won't say a single word to us during lesson, you know, you might not even bring up anything that's happened. And then all of a sudden, there's parents evening now and you guys are like, oh, but this guy, he talks too much. No, Bruh. no, where was this energy before? You now see my mum, you're now giving me all this energy. You're there saying, oh, he talks a lot. And I'm like, you want to, you want to get in trouble? It's because you know, it's because through your experience, yeah, you know that some parents, you know that some parents from different countries you know that they deal with us differently that's the reason why you give us that energy in front of our parents but I can't never forget science here yeah? and the teacher you know I'm there with my mom teachers like you know how you doing blah 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 because basically how a parents evening works in the UK is that teacher will meet your parent or your guardian they will tell you you know what you're doing well what you're not doing so well how to improve and if you've got any questions for the teacher while you're with your parent or guardian and then you go on to the next teacher and it's pretty much the same process that's how it is very very simple but what some teachers like to do is they just like to exaggerate they just exaggerate I'm like well, what are you doing because I'm not even a bad kid and yet you're making me look so bad so there's three things that can happen when the teacher says there's something that's not good one of three things so the first one is that my mom would do this if my mom does that the day is over basically that means that the teacher says something my mom don't like and my mom is fuming when she does that well I can you know so it might be let's say my mom is here yeah and I can see the peripheral vision of her doing that she's doing this year <laughs> hi mom i'm sorry i know you're gonna watch this my mom will be doing this year and i can see it and i'm just there like trying to hold my <laughs> i'm trying to hold my face as much as i can because i can see it from my peripheral like i can see on screen that's one number two my mom will start pinching yeah if she again if let's say the teacher wants to say something like oh you know um he distracts everybody in the lessons then my mom will start pinching and then you know you're just like you like that you're just like flinching and you're trying to like move your leg up and down because you know i won't be like pinching like that the third one my mom would say watch when we get home oh that day the day is done watch when we get home see when we get home watch what happens when we get home if she says any of those statements the day is long it's finished there's nothing you can do it didn't matter if all the teachers said everything good if the teacher has said that one thing so i remember science now you know the teacher was like oh you know he he focuses in lesson you know he does his work he does his homework you know he's a bright student whatnot and i'm thinking you know what that is so wavy man i like that then he'll be like he gets distracted and I'm like, oh, like, come on, like, allow me, like, you're just gonna go tomorrow and be like, he gets distracted. And obviously the mom who was smiling happy is now giving me that, like that, almost fuming, cause I'm like, oh, it just went downhill. And the thing is, I didn't have the greatest grades as well. So having not great grades with you being distracted you talking you being a nuisance in the classroom that's a recipe for disaster on the way home all should be like so you came to school to be a class clown you came to school to mess around you don't come to school to study the day is long the day is just it's just long and i just remember i'm like what and i remember i asked the teacher i said i don't understand but like, I, I didn't even do any of that and you'll be like are you sure and i'm like oh my goodness. okay okay cool i see 
And then have you noticed yeah, the energy that the teachers will have the day after is different. The, the energy is new. I'm like, where is this energy? They'll just start moving mad because, oh, they spoke to my mum and, oh, you know, I've got your mum's number, I'll call her. But I'm like, bruv, relax. Like, I don't I don't get where this energy has come from. No, nah, parents healing was a mad thing. And you know what was mad? In college here, yeah, uh, college was long. College was so long because I was friendly with a lot of people, especially the women. Like, that's just how I am. The parents evening that my mum had to attend, in college because I had not attended the mock exam and because of that I will never forget I didn't attend the mock exam so what happened is my mum had to come in around like two o'clock and I was like I was praying and begging God that I didn't see anybody I knew especially girls because you know what the girls will say they'll be like oh hey Femi and I'm like no because I want to see that I was going to be like ha ha I've seen now I see why you're not focusing in class because of these girls and my mum will be like we should change college I'm like no that day was long because um, that was a special parents day for me. Sorry, that was a special parents day for me. The business module leader um, had taken me off the course and they said the only way is if your mum comes in. Obviously, we spoke about my grades and my and everything else and my phone twos had to get involved. And that day was long because if they didn't do that, I was not allowed back on the course. So my mum had to come in and she had to come in during the time when there was lessons going on. I'm actually so grateful. I got away with that day not seeing anyone. And my college is extremely big. I don't understand. I need, I need to find, I need to understand where this energy comes from. Teachers, I know I've got teachers that watch this. I've got teacher friends. Where are you getting this energy? I need to know. You know, throughout the week, maybe the week before, you're, you're calm. Then on parents' evening, you just have to come with the full throttle. Because the thing is, I'm not even a naughty kid. Do you know what I mean? I might be someone who maybe gets distracted. I might talk here and there, but I'm not one to completely disarray the classroom. You know what I mean? There are kids that do that. Not me. I don't do that. But then for some reason, you know, because I'm not a naughty child, it's like you must feel like you must pick something that I might have only done once maybe from the last parents evening to now I've done it once and you just explode the whole thing and you just collapse the whole evening for me and my mom that walk home is long from school or if it's a drive if it's a walk if it's to my dad's workplace oh bro the day is long because and especially when my mom would feed that back to my dad oh and then my dad is like yeah no games and I'm like oh it's painful um, I'm going to speak a little bit on my brother and sisters one year. So my sister went to a different school to my brother. I remember there was a time when my brother's grades was kind of going down and my brother was begging me for <laughs> me to come to my previous school to be his guardian essentially to help him with uh, the parents evening. And then when I was there, I can see why because all the teachers were like, you know, he's a, he's a good kid, like he's great. but. You know, he's just not doing well in the lessons. And I was thinking, aha, now you see why he didn't want mom to come because you know, mom, she wouldn't have been screwing. <laughs> I'll never forget my brother literally begging me. <laughs> and then my sister went to a different uh, secondary school altogether. But uh, that guy, you know what? If there was an agenda, yeah, if there, the biggest agenda I've ever seen was my sister's head teacher. Mother, my sister's head teacher will call me and will be like, oh, um, your sister is, uh, she's exceptionally bright, but um, she's a ruckus in the classroom. I'm like, brother, is this why you're calling me when I'm at work? You're gonna call me and tell me that, oh, I'm like, brother, what do you want me to do? But yeah, my sister, I can't lie, my sister's behavior was jarring though, cause like the school would call me like every, huh, I think the school would call me like every, maybe every month or every, actually no, let me not do that. Cause my sister watched this, it was every month. But the school would call me like maybe every two months or something. And I'd be like, brother, you guys deal with it, man. Why are you guys calling me? She put my grandma as the person to deal with the parents evening. It made sense though, because of where the school was. But they used my grandma's details instead of my mum. Which I, again, I think it's really funny, but you know, at some point we realized that my, my, uh, my, my sister's head teacher was, there was something wrong with him. But yeah, actually, you know what? Before I end it there, yeah, let me kind of bring it back to something that I just remembered in primary school. I wasn't gonna talk about it, but I remember. I think I'd done something really naughty in primary school. And you know what's so mad that day, yeah? I remember, <laughs> I remember, I think I took my mum's key yeah and then I kind of like kind of sat on the edge so that when we were done yeah I could run, run home I stayed away from my mom because I knew I was on something naughty so my mom was trying to like chase me and stuff in there so I always stayed in distance <laughs> and I would be shouting my neighbor down the road she'd be like Femi Femi I'm like yes I'm here I'm not coming there yet Oh my days, that is actually so funny looking back at it because, oh man, parents evening was one but Big up my mum and my dad, man, because I don't know how they got through with me not having the greatest grades, but I'm going to talk about that in another video because, you know, me trying my best, I definitely tried my hardest 
I tried my best, even throughout college, I really, really tried my best, but I didn't have the greatest grades, but definitely in my next video, I'm gonna talk about that, because, you know, it's not easy not having the greatest grades and you try your best and, you know, you're kind of stuck with, like, you know, a very, very average grade, but that's the story time, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, 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 I cannot stress how much I am grateful for everybody watching my stuff. Really, really grateful you watching, liking, subscribing, all that. Like, I will never ever get tired of saying it because without you, there's no channel. Do you know what I mean? There's no Femizi, there's no, there's none of this, there's none of that in the background. Even my dad, he watched this and he was like, imagine you didn't even say anything good about the video. He just said, why is your room messy? Bruh. Like, dad, come on, man. You didn't even talk. Anyway. <laughs> But honestly guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, more content to come, keep watching. I'm thinking of maybe having a vlog. I don't know, maybe once a month, we'll see how it goes, but I'm putting this out there because I want accountability. And obviously if I've said it, then obviously something has to something has to go on in it. So guys, I don't know why I'm scratching my nose in the video. This is really bad because it can be used as a meme in the future, but I'm grateful. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Cause there's light in the word and the light that's fire, that's how the chain link. What shall I render, Lord? Your mercy so tender and your grace so great. I will spray back the sender. See, never sliding so slender. She'll suck you in and set you up if you ever try friend up. I'll put a ring on light.